Greetings and welcome to another excellent pro-America video. But what you're seeing here is a still photo from the assassination attempt of former President Trump. Now, I haven't done any kind of videos like this in the past. That wasn't my forte. I could do it and do well, probably. But I was doing videos concentrating on trying to have fun. But the time for fun and games at this moment is over. So, this is what we have. I got this from Sky News. The address on YouTube, the title of the video is at the very bottom. You can see it for yourself. Now, normally I don't have my face on the screen because I don't want to scare people away. But here, I'm doing my best Gary Player impersonation. Minus the awesome South African accent because he would wear a black golf shirt like I'm wearing except that he spoke with a South African accent and he sounded much more refined and awesome than I do me I'm just an American you know one of those things so but about this video the motivation of, of this video is real simple I want to mention this and the horrific event that it was. Why is it horrific? Because I'm going to tell you contextually why it's horrific by citing previous horrific events, and that's the key. So what you're going to hear is simple stuff that if you don't know this from history, well, you can go check this out and find out for yourself. But what I saw was clearly good versus evil. It's just that simple. And if you like what I say, fine. If you don't like what I say, I don't care. It's just that simple. The truth is the truth. Whether you like it or not is irrelevant. 2 plus 2 is always 4. It's never 5 and it's never 3. So if 2 plus 2 is 4 bothers you, you have a problem. If the truth bothers you, you have a problem. Get it? Pretty simple. So, assassinations or assassination attempts, at least in America, are simply good versus evil. The evil is the one trying to destroy the pro-America figure. In this case, that would be President Trump, who is pro-America. Historically, if we look backwards, the one that comes to mind immediately was 1981 when President Reagan was shot and put in the hospital. Fortunately, he recovered. But again, you had an an uh, you know an evil guy shot a pro-America figure, and the pro-America policies of President Reagan is what catapulted him into a massive landslide re-election in 1984. So, if we look back further, there was the assassination of the brother of President Kennedy, RFK. Another evil guy killed a pro-America figure. If you look back at Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., once again, you saw an evil man killed Dr. King, who was profoundly pro-America. There's no two ways to look at it. I don't look at it in any other context except evil versus pro-America. And obviously, one of the biggest ones, 1963, when President Kennedy was assassinated. Again, you had evil versus pro-America. That one was fairly obvious why, because the, pro the policies of President Kennedy, including but not limited to the Cuban Missile Crisis, where he stopped Russian Soviet Union nuclear missiles from being set up on Cuba to shoot potentially American cities, because the reality was that the USSR couldn't hit the broadside of a barn from the USSR, and they needed 
someplace close like Cuba if they could do it. But as a former Navy officer, uh, President Kennedy knew the value of the U.S. Navy and its power to defend this nation. I believe he was assassinated for that. Not alone, but it's his pro-America policies that caused it. And if you go back even further, there was the attempted assassination of Teddy Roosevelt. And then even further back, 1865, you had an evil man who supported slavery in the South, John Wilkes Booth, who assassinated President Lincoln. Again, all of these have the same underlying evil versus pro-America. It's not complicated at all. It's very simple. We don't stand for that at all, ever. If you stand for that, well, you're a weirdo. Sorry, that's just the way it is. And there are videos already surfacing of weirdos essentially supporting the attempt made yesterday, which failed. So it's one of those things, real simple stuff. It's not complicated. You can have your opinion. I have my opinion. If we agree, fine. If we disagree, fine. Not a problem. If it bothers you, you have a problem. I don't have a problem. I tell the truth. And when the case is, if the truth is my opinion on a subject, chocolate or vanilla, for example. It's an opinion. Okay, there's, you know, sometimes the answer is chocolate, sometimes the answer is vanilla. If you like chocolate and I like vanilla, that's not a problem. You have an opinion, I have an opinion. And if you're a normal American, that's fine. If you're a wacko who is automatically against people who don't share your specific vision, you have a problem. We don't have the problem. You have the problem. That's the difference. So that's why I have the friends that I have. My friends are normal Americans. And they do whatever normal Americans do. And their business is their business. It's not, it's not complicated at all. So that's what I wanted to tell you in this video. Is that we, meaning me and people like me, don't support this at all and we recognize it as the evil that it is and anyone who basically tries to tell you that it wasn't evil is themselves most likely evil it's just simple stuff it's not complicated little little kids understand this if you don't understand it once again you have a problem not us so that's the way it is so hopefully this has clarified things historically. You can go check it out yourself and find that what I'm telling you isn't opinion. It's reality. And I live in the real world. So, like I said, if you want to leave a comment, fantastic. If you agree with me, great. If you don't agree with me, that's, you know, your right as an American to do that. So, I've really covered all I needed to cover, I guess, except for, you know, we're constitutional Americans, and we believe that, you know, everybody has constitutional rights. And horrifically, at least one person was killed trying to kill the president, or the former president. The shooter, or the... the um, person identified as the shooter was killed. I believe it was the actual shooter, but that's not been 100% confirmed. That guy is toast as he should be. So it's really, it's terrible. I know there was at least one other person uh, injured, which was just horrible. I mean, I can't even, I can't even really imagine what would happen in being in such a situation. So, I thought that people overall, you know, did a great job of not panicking and rioting and listening to the directions of the state troopers that were there 
as well as the Secret Service. So that part was fantastic, but it was a horrible, horrible event. And it's just something that I can't even imagine how horrible it would have been to be there. And then, if you watch the video that this picture is from, you'll see yourself just exactly what kind of other horrors have been happening after the fact. So, not to be a downer. So, hopefully you guys will have a great day, great week, what have you. Uh, I'm glad you were able to see this video. And hopefully I'll see you guys again in the future. And just one more thing I'm going to show you. The Infinity Gauntlet Ring, which hasn't been on here for quite some time. So, there you go. I'll see you guys later, hopefully. Thanks a lot for watching.